Hello, my name is Howard J. Eberly. I'm a watercolor artist and I live in Lewis, Delaware. This June, I will be having a exhibit at the Mezzanine Gallery in Wilmington, Delaware. People will ask me what type of watercolors that I do. And I tell them that I am a portrait painter of objects. Very seldom do I paint a whole of anything. I will zero in uh, to a section, crop things out. Uh, by this I mean like I may be intrigued by a rusty old doorknob and not the whole door. So I will then zero in on the doorknob itself. I, as I said, eliminate things to make a pleasing composition. And here it's an optical illusion because you're looking at something very heavy up top and going down, you know, floating into open space. So I will then first, after the drawing is done, I will use liquid mask right here in a bottle. Paint that all in the area that I do not want the background color to penetrate. Once that's dry, I will then start in with my wash and go filling in a gradation down. As you see, I work vertically. Um, most watercolor artists work on a table. This gives me a better handle on being able to get the gradation to work because I'll start here going left to right, le right to left and back and forth all the way down and I allow gravity to take the pigment down the paper. Once I start building it up to keep it lighter down here, when I get so far down, I'll switch from the pigment to just plain water to pick up the pigment and just blend it down in so that it's, it's lighter. Once that's done, then I remove the mask and go in starting light to dark, putting in the color. As you can see here on the beam, I've laid in you know, a base color of a yellow, and then I'm going in with the different browns and light to dark and blotching in the darker areas with paint. Once I continue darkening this up, when I reach the stage that I'm happy with it, then I will go in with a dry brush technique. All of my work is about the composition, heavily textured and detailed compositions.